What's up, truckers? Um, this is a little weird. Uh, Ryan uh, couldn't make it today for this episode, so this is going to be a Matt solo episode. Uh, I said, Ryan, I said, I can wait, you know, I, you know, it's not urgent, but he insisted that I do this episode. So, uh, you know, if you're a big Ryan head, please don't click off. I'm begging you guys. Just give me a chance here. Okay. If you, if you're a big Ryan stand, but not much of a, of a, of a mad head, you know, it's just, just, just give me a little shot. Okay. So we're going to be exploring, uh, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. It's three brand new freaking states. Now we've seen Colorado. Yeah, we're gonna hit the we're gonna hit these last three states right here, guys. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I just gotta look at the job market and figure out uh what a good what a good uh what a good route is, you know? Let's look at the freight market. Hey! Hey! I'm sorry I'm late. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get here today. Oh, I thought I thought I was just gonna do this one by myself. <sighs> what well I had a feeling, I just had this like, Ryan sense, like, I feel like Matt's about to record without me, so, ugh, I got on my big wheels and I rode all the way here. That fast? Oh yeah. I told you, I've been working my legs out after the whole back injury. You have been working those legs out pretty- What was that? It was Justin opened the door and threw a funny fart sound effect in. Let's just, let's just start the job, let's just get to back to it. To quote the Emperor's it. New Groove, it did throw off my groove. I'm sorry. I just didn't want, I didn't want you to be alone. I felt bad. No, felt... you didn't. Justin throwing the, oh, opening the door okay. and making a fart sound threw yeah. off my groove. You didn't throw off my groove. It's you're a pleasant I'm, here, I'm very know. happy you're here. Okay. I'm very happy you're here. I was not looking forward to, you know, the listeners could probably tell in my voice. They're like, he's, he's floundering. He's floundering. Fuck. Man, I gotta be honest with you. What? I, I told you before we started the episode, you know. Yeah. Start without me, I'll make an entrance. That was really just an excuse so I could go out to my car because I, I remember yesterday, my weed vape falling out of my pocket on the drive home and I was like, I wanna go get that. So here I am thinking you're setting up for an elaborate bid yeah. and it's 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 just a, just a pawn the work off on me so you can look for your marijuana vape? I, can't, I came in with a hat. And what hat did you come in with, Ryan? <laughs> what is that, air, is that airplane going to Montana? Nope, that's going to Texas. Oh, bull honky. Did you say that's an airplane? It looked like a, the front of a, it looked like a cockpit. Sorry, it's a train. I, it's a monorail train. Excuse me, it looks like a cockpit. Does it not look like a cockpit? Ryan, are, you're fucking with me, right? What? It's a boat. Is it? Yes. <laughs> you said pl oh. you said plane, but you corrected it to train. Because then I saw the train sign, I'm like, oh, it's like a train part. It's like a train cockpit. <laughs> you fucking goofy goober. It looks like the cockpit of something. It says boat right there, dude. Well, I didn't read the that part. Otherwise, I would therefore know it was a boat, obviously. I honestly say we take this short one. Okay. Because then from Casper, we can either choose to go up to Montana or, I mean, if it's, you know, we, we can go to Idaho if we want. We gotta go to, we gotta go to Montana. Ketchum, Ketchum, Idaho, Twin Falls. We gotta go to Montana and then cross through Idaho back into maybe what? Maybe into Oregon. Idaho Falls was uh, one of the weirdest towns I've ever been to in my life. Felt sad and depressing and liminal space vibes. Says GPS destination. And let's go. Let's get started. Let's freaking drive, dude. Okay. You might have to fix the vehicle up a little bit. You just start going, baby. There you go. Let's, yeah. Let's let's go get our freaking uh let's get our load, dude. Dude, we might be up to two hundred thousand dollars in the bank soon. Guys, I know that we haven't been focusing on really making money lately because we're focusing on just seeing the sights of America. Don't worry, we'll get back to making lots of money soon. Okay? Don't get your panties in a wad, viewers. Okay, let's uh let's, let's do it. Is there a button on the on one of the controller to something? switch the view? Yes. You want to see how a, uh, a boss does it, dude? Or are you about to boss it up? Yeah. Are you bossing it up big time? I'm bossing it up big time. <sighs> Little I slammed into it, but you know what? I still uh I still did it. There we go. Now I'm gonna pull out. 
The old, uh, the classic Watson pullout. God, I want to still get hit by a train in this game, dude. We missed it. Oh, and I also missed the turn. Whoops. Damn. This is actually vis visually uh, disgusting. I, this looks gross. All those cars. All the crushed up cars. I was too busy watching the ending of Don't Look Up to pay attention to. Again, dude, like Don't Look Up had potential to be a good movie, but also like <coughs> with Adam McKay, so many of the uh, it's so fucking ham fisted, dude. It's like Todd Phillips. They're just very heavy handed, as you said, with their themes. It's just like the theme is so explained and in over. Uh, pushed where it's like I don't know like it doesn't have to you can get like the theme of the movie across without making it that forced and goofy you know I also feel like interjecting comedy into it is like yes it's cool I don't know it just ne never really lands with me that much especially in don't look up like none of the comedy landed for me no same with me, which suck. I actually was really excited to see that movie. I thought it looked like a cool concept. And also, I love movies about uh, impact events, about asteroids and comets and shit. And uh, I love movies where they're on like a, you know, like a, a countdown until there's going to be a big, a big. There's one with Steve Carell and Kira Knightley. Uh, seeking a friend for the end of the world. Yeah. I've seen the ending of it. It is like. When, you know, when I was younger, I guess I don't notice how odd it is. Maybe it, it isn't odd, but it's just like Steve Carell is, you know, an older gentleman. Keira Knightley is a his love interest. She's and a she's, babe, dude. She's, ve she's very young. She was in her 20s during Pirates of the Caribbean, I think. Oh, really? I know. When I think about that, I'm like, Scarlett Johansson was 23 when she started with the Marvel Cinematic Universe shit. And I'm just like... Could you imagine being 23 and being in like just being around Robert Downey Jr. in like a suit like you're in the most expensive publicized movies Ryan, of the time. You and I were 19 and 20 when we were around Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> oh yeah, and, uh, <laughs> uh and uh Andrew Garfield we actually got to see him do a awkward interview. A very, little scamp, very awkward. Very awkward interview. I think it's, you know, you're there live. A lot of the dry shit isn't edited out, right? Yeah. Yeah. I But I but I remember, like, someone in the crowd, like, heckled. They didn't heckle, but they, like, they did, like, woo at something he said. And then he just kind of looked out at the crowd, <laughs> like, almost offended. And it, and it was awkward. <laughs> it was awkward. Do you remember that? Yeah. He I just do. kind of, like, looked like a little PO'd. Paparazzi. It's an, it's an honest, it's an honest profession. I'm from a long line of them. I love paparazzi. <laughs> the Watson family. A <laughs> long line of paparazzi and not just paparazzi enthusiasts. Full red blood. <laughs> <coughs> full red blooded paparazzi. That's right. That's right. I come from a long. That, that, have there been any good comedy movies uh, about paparazzi? From the, la from the Latin paparazzi. Puparazza. Dude, don't don't <laughs> slander them like that. I'm just speaking Latin. Uh, Pig Latin, baby. Dude. Uh Ut Utche. Uh, I forgot how to speak pig Latin, dude. I don't know why they were trying to teach us Latin in elementary school. Did you have that? Like a Latin club in elementary school? We didn't have a class, but but it was like a club thing. It was like an extra extracurricular. My grandmother was your fluent in Latin, time. and, uh... Yeah, look where that got her. Exact, she's dead now, so, I mean, <laughs> did, didn't get her very far. But I feel like, uh... Yes, about six feet. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's gonna watch this with tears in her eyes, dude. Good. <laughs> I can't just, like... We should go to Bangladesh, dude. Super Mega does Bangladesh? What's your favorite thing about Bangladesh? Gotta be the women, dude. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. For me, it's the... The bar scene. They have a great nightlife scene over in Bangladesh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I really like the... Uh, also, great cookies. Great cookies over in Bangladesh. Where is Bangladesh? Bangladesh is near India, right? It's, uh... It's, like, is it near, like, Nepal and India? Like, that region of the world? No, it's in the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where is Bangladesh, brother? You know, everyone asks the question, but no one wants to answer. I mean, we have a globe. Do you want me to go show you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's taking Ryan out. Hot, there he is. What took you so long? You had to draw Bangladesh on the map? Can you find it? Without looking at a map? Did you did you look it up already? That's you you looked it up. You looked it up, dude. That's where Bangladesh is. Hold on, I'm I'm driving it. Wait, wait. Really read it. It's dark. But this there's also a lot of names on here. It is by it's, India. So it's yeah. by like Myanmar and Thailand and stuff. Should we uh put a we should get pins so every time we have to look a place up, we put a pin in it and then it's like these are all the places we know where they are now. I'll never forget where Bangladesh is now. Justin, would you mind it's throwing the, up? It's the crotch of the. Okay, maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, Bangladesh. Justin, throw up a picture of a of a of Bangladesh highlighted on a map, so uh, our friends, our friends and family, our viewers now, know exactly. Now they know where Bangladesh is, and they'll never forget. Now, please throw up uh, uh, three political figures from Bangladesh, their title and what they do, That's so right. we know a little more about Bangladesh. And now, throw up their uh, their the uh, the. I guess, uh, their flag. Here's the Bangladesh flag. And their animal. Their national animal. And Justin, while you're at it, put the spouses up of uh, those three politicians. Uh, with so their look names. at all that Bangladeshi information, right? Bangladeshi? Yeah, and I'm honestly Bang in the mood for a Bangladesh. Justin, put the national dish of Bangladesh <laughs> up on screen as well. So we've got a nice collage up there right now. What's insane, too, is, is you know, maybe you might be going to, like, a trivia night soon. They screen might ask you screen cap all of this right here. They might ask you a question about Bangladesh, and they're gonna go, "Oh, we're gonna get him," because no one in this in this bar is gonna know anything about Bangladesh. Guess what? You instantly have a cheat you win. sheet. You win. You for win that whole trivia night, baby. And uh, uh, you can take them off now. Yeah, the, you could. You can get rid of them, but you know, because we are talking about Bangladesh here. We do have a surprise for the <sighs> end of the episode. Yeah. Uh, once we drop this load off. Uh, we got a pretty big surprise for all the Bangladesh heads out there. Oh, is this what we were discussing before? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's even... Is this something a little... It's... Bigger than that? Yeah, it is. No way. In fact, you don't even know it. What the fudge? I could even, I could whisper in your ear right now. Uh, come over here. Come on. <clears throat> oh, oh, perfect. You like perfect. that? Yes. I think that's beautiful. I think that it would be a, a welcome treat for our viewers. Oh, I A G R E E E. Yeah, there's three E's in agree. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Also, uh, I mean, if you don't like that idea, you can you can shoot it down. But I, you know, I think it's D O U N. Straight down to the bottom, baby. You don't you don't want to do the idea? No, I was emphasizing. I fucked <laughs> that Tesla up. Shh, they're not gonna move. That's what I think of you, Mr. Musk. They're not gonna move anymore, Matt. I know I can go around them. Gotta fix our truck soon. Dumbass won't even go when it's a. Oh, oh, he is gonna go. Oh shit. Oh, looks like they might have uh, they might have tweaked some of this AI in this game. He's not gonna pull over and check. No, it's a Tesla. It's, 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 it's indestructible. They don't get dents in them. They don't, you know, he's fine. You probably didn't even notice I hit him. Well, Casper, Wyoming, you just got yourself a shipment of scrapped cars. Or you're about to, you're about to. Um, do you ever, I think it's on the, I think it's on the five. It's, uh, near the Burbank area and it's just this big yes. lot of a, it's, for me, that's like one of the most sad, depressing things. Well, like, is like knowing that, like, what, how, what, it, how, what do you do with car waste? You know, they There's turn so them into much stuff. There's so much of it. I guess you can turn them into like the Iron Giant. You know, turn them into the, you know, what's his name, Dean. Turn, Dean turns, you know, a bunch of that into art. You can make it into art. It, it, are you talking about where it's like it's. Art. <laughs> One side of the freeway is cars that have not been destroyed yet, and the other side of the freeway is just like a land, like a like a huge, just a huge, bunch of just dead cars, yeah, stacked and just. <laughs> it's like a big junkyard. Mm -hmm. We should go. We should go junkyard uh, diving. You know, go explore some junkyard shit in Very a video. Dangerous. A no, it's objects. not. A lot of needles. 
things can shift and fall on you very easy. Because, you know, when they stack those cars up, you know, they're not expecting it. Would someone want me to go inside this place? Ugh. It does. Oh, but you can just pull it in. Yeah, I, I chose to play it safe. Oh, well, pfft. Well, it's not even, remember we found out it's not even that big of an XP boost? No, it's 15. Well, so if you park it, park it, <laughs> you get 45. Play it safe, you get 15. Uh, or no, not play it safe. I'm doing the easier parking job, so I'm still parking it. So I get a little bonus. I get 15, but it is not a huge, it's not a huge bonus. It's more of a show off to the ladies watching that we know how to park a truck. Okay, let's see. Uh, there hey, we go. There we go. Green. green means good. Green does mean good. Green mean good. Green does mean good, Ryan. Look at that. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Pretty soon, Ryan. We're gonna... Hey, Matt. Yo. Do you think... For my birthday? You know, just because... You know how, like, a lot of big parties, there are, like, mascots and stuff around? Yeah. Like, you can take pictures with and stuff. I was thinking you could... Because... The live action movie's coming out soon. I kind of want to, not around my birthday, but I think it brings it back into the no again. I was thinking you could, maybe your present for me this year, dressing up as Stitch and going around as Stitch and taking pictures with everyone. Man, if that's what you want for your birthday, who would I be to say no? You have to say his catchphrases and stuff. I can't do a Stitch you have, voice, You though. have to work on it. Let me try my best. I'm Stitch. No, I can't do <laughs> I remember it. that being what you tried last time we did that voice shit where we did SpongeBob. I think it was on a podcast, maybe. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A long time ago. I can't. <laughs> I can't do that, dude. I, I'm Stitch. I can't do Stitch, but I can. Ah, can you do that? Ah. Yeah. If it makes you happy, I'll do it for your birthday. <laughs> okay. Um, You'll take pictures of everyone. Do his catchphrases. Pop up. Be like, want a picture? I will. I'm Stitch. Whatever. You know. However. I need sounds. to acquire a Stitch costume, but I'm sure they're not too hard to find. And, uh, if it makes you happy for your birthday, man, it's the big 2-9, of course I'll do it. Okay, I don't, I, don't want, I don't want this conversation to take away from our big closer, though. We do have a big closer. Uh, in, you know, the theme of Bangladesh, Justin has agreed to perform his own rendition of the Bangladesh National Anthem. So, uh, Justin, take it away. Amar Shonar, uh, 